All right, thanks for watching. And today to complete our adventure of RK, I will show you that RK is complete. Namely that every Cauchy sequence in RK converges. In other words, it doesn't have any holes. And the good news is we've already done the hard work, so the rest is just a matter of putting everything together. So let me first of all remind you what it means for a sequence to be Cauchy. So Xn, in RK is Cauchy. If eventually all the values of the sequence get close together. So if for all epsilon there is a capital N such that if after that if M and N are after that threshold, then the distance between xn and xm is less than epsilon. In other words, no matter how small of a region I give you, of radius epsilon, eventually all the terms of your sequence are at least in that region, so close together. So xm and xn. And important, this makes no mention of the limit at all. All that we know is that uh, those values of the sequence are just fuzzy and then just close together. And by the way, here distance actually works for any distance here, but um, at least this definition, but if you want, it's a square root of sum of squares uh, definition. And on the other hand, I would just like to remind you what complete means and what um, it's convergence means, so xn converges to x if for all epsilon there is this capital N such that after that threshold we have uh, the distance between the sequence and the limit is less than epsilon. So again, no matter what small of a region I give you, eventually your sequence is inside that region. Okay. All right, and there's also the beautiful thing in Rn, which I've shown last time for a convergence, but it's also true for Cauchy. So fact, and this is what will help us now, uh, uh, namely Xn is Cauchy, Cauchy, and the same with thing with convergence or convergence to let's say capital X, if and only if each component is Cauchy. So if X and J is Cauchy, or again, converges to XJ. Both things hold. If xn is Cauchy, then xnj is Cauchy. If xn converges to x, then xnj converges to xj. And that's for all j. And that's the thing that will make it work. So here's a quick proof. So uh, theorem. Rk is complete. Again, all we have to show is that each Cauchy sequence converges. So, uh, proof. Suppose, uh, okay, super quick proof actually. Suppose Xn is Cauchy, again in RK, then, let me write that in RK, then for all J, One to k, uh, x and j is Cauchy, but except here's the thing: this is Cauchy uh, sequence of real numbers that's Cauchy. So it's Cauchy in R, but we know that R is complete. We've already proven that, but R is complete. So x and j converges to xj for some j. 
so for some extra. But then, since this is true for every j, but since this is true for all j, from 1 to k, what do we get? We actually get, so um, again, what have we shown? We suppose it's Cauchy, then by our theorem it's Cauchy, every component is Cauchy. So by completeness of R, the components converge, but then by our theorem again, we get that the whole sequence must converge. Uh, so uh, therefore, uh, since this is true for all J, we get that the whole sequence converges. So uh, Xn converges to X, where what is X? It's just the, uh, all the limits put together. So X is just X1 up to Xk. Again, a really nice proof that just flows like butter. All right, thank you.